day and welcome back to my Elite Dangerous series once again. In this video it is going to be different from the previous uh, as you usually see. Um, but, uh, but there's only been like I think a couple of cases where I had to add post commentary. And yes this video will be... Well, there'll just there'll be a, a post commentary because I, I tried to record this. Well I did record this. I have the footage as you can see in the audio from the game. Uh, the problem is, for some reason, my recording software did not pick up my mic I use, the Blue Yeti. For some reason, it was disabled, or it was just not available in the settings. That I didn't notice. So now I have the footage without my voice, unfortunately. I'm very frustrated over that, like I was when I couldn't make videos because of the virus. A terrible virus, which by the way, I did explain all that stuff in that video, but you know, now I'm going to have to say it all over again, but... <sighs> Anyways, yeah, I'm fine again. Uh, I, recovered from, I recovered from the virus, yes, the COVID. It was the worst experience I, in terms of illness I ever got, much worse than the flu, uh, the co for any cold or or any flu. I uh, know. I think I've had the flu before, but like you know, it's definitely worse than any cold. So yeah, I'm just very glad to have recovered from it now, and I'm able to make videos again. So. As I'm recording this, I'm, I'm like watching the video and hearing it from the video editor because adding post uh, commentary to this is going to be very, very difficult. And as you can see, I will be, you know, doing things in the game that wouldn't match the context of what I'm saying. So what I'm doing right now, as you can see, I'm in a different area of the map. I'm showing you where I've been using the mouse. So I'll be to this Nibbles there. And then that one there. And that's what I'm currently going to. So there's a system with like uh, three black holes. It's known as the cat's eye. And I found that system via a passenger mission option. That goes all the way there, but of course I didn't go there yet. So I put bookmarks down of where I want to go of where in the galaxy I want to visit. Anyways, this this footage is like an hour, but I'm not going to make it an hour. And because it's post commentary, I have to make sure that's in sync with the audio and the video. So, if you notice that my voice is like, I don't know, two, I don't know, five to ten seconds late or earlier, you, you'll know why. Anyways, I'm going to jump there. I'm probably going to cut this, but we'll see. There's a neutron star. Now when you approach these, uh, for the place I don't know, uh, you, you do not mark around with these, like with white dwarfs. Drive drive so as I can see, I'm just uh, supercharging my FST for four times range. And now I'm jumping to the black hole. <laughs> Spooky, ain't it? Yeah, space gets a lot weird around these parts. It's because of the black hole that, yeah, it warps space. Yeah, 
Anyways, I'll jump cut this to the point where it gets interesting. Okay, so I'm nearly there now. About to jump in. So there's there's the um, beacon, the cat's eye. This is something interesting because the first commander that I actually went here and discovered the system, yeah, you know, like like wrote a reaction and like suggested it. So I'm just guessing that the developers, you know, did something and create this beacon. You know, as you can see, there's a paragraph there if you can read if you like. But I already did that that video, but I'm not gonna do it again. Alright, so as you can see here, I'm just on the uh, system map right now, but I'm about um, to go somewhere else, which is another system with a, with a black hole. Yeah, this is a, an even better one, because so this one has the, uh, the, uh, the supernova. So that system there, it's recently, well it's recent that the star there collapsed and now it's the black hole and then the, the um, you know, the supernova is it's just beginning its nebula stages I believe. As you can see. Yeah, it's too, like, it's 2400 light years away so I'm just going to jump cut all that. Alright, uh, well I'll resume when I get there, so I'll see you then. Alright, well, so I'm currently in the second uh, last jump at the moment. Yeah, I just want to show you that on the side, as you can see there, uh, you thought you, I thought would be able to... Yeah, there it is on the left side. Yeah, that's... um. That's that, that big star cluster there is actually right next to the Omega, uh, Omega Nebula. I didn't know there were so many stars there. So, that's a cool sight there. And as you can see right there, the blue glow, that's actually the nebula I was uh, mentioning. They're the one that's uh, studying stages of the supernova. So now jump in there. So to get this far, it's actually taken me like more than a hundred jumps. These jumps are like every time like 70 light years. So if you have enough fuel, uh, it's, it's it's definitely good to use the neutron highway because it saves time. Alright, so now I'm here. There's no, this is actually a carry here. In a planet. So now I'm trying to uh, get there. And as you can see, I'm just looking around, around the temple. And so I wonder, it's a, such a great place for screenshots. Now jump out and turn the flight assist off, which is actually handy. I can't believe I haven't used it yet. Of all the hours I have in combat, which would have been much helpful. It basically it turns off all the dampening thrusters which makes you know the ship turn slow but you can make it turn quickly you know without the dampeners by turning the flight assist off which is handy so now I'm heading to the uh, beacon that's called black treasure
As you can see, I'm like moving towards so you can see that this how the, sp the space is being warped around. <laughs> Alright, so I'm scanning the beacon now. So just uh, that shows um, the commander. I mean, suggested this recent supernova. Yep, definitely a beautiful tur uh, tourist area. I I'm a bit unable to read that uh, properly because I'm looking at uh, footage through the editor. So it's like, it's there if you want to read it. I don't, I don't know how long it... Okay, now yeah, it's over. This is why I really liked uh, my voice available. But it isn't, so... I, I don't know how my recording software didn't... I, I don't know, I think a, a different application must have messed something up. This is why I should never, definitely like have a checklist before recording. Look at that awesome screenshot there. By the way, the stars you're seeing, they're not actually moving. They're actually like really like they're just seeing still like where they are. This is they look like they're moving because uh, it was just the space warping, as you can see. <laughs> Uh, but these black holes in Lee Danis are like they're very different to uh, what you'd see in real life uh, through telescopes. And it's, yeah, I was hoping the developers would work on the game a bit more, you know, realistic. Like the accretion disk, for an example. All right. Well, I don't know how long, how much longer this uh, video is going to be. But I think I'm just going to have to end it. Yeah, it's about to end, like, in about two minutes or, I don't know, 60 seconds. Anyways, like I said, I'm going to end it here. Thanks, everyone, for watching uh, this video. Sorry about the uh, post-commentary. I, I had to do that because I don't know. I don't. I just don't know what happened with my recording software. Maybe just I didn't record it for a week and I just didn't see what was going on. Yeah, you know, I got that virus, but I'm, I'm good now. Anyways, I don't get much feedback for these videos, so feel free to suggest anything if I miss seeing anything in the galaxy, or, or you prefer less rambling in my videos, so, or, or you know, just uh, su suggest anything, because it's hard to know what the viewers like when I better get any comments. Anyways, I shall see you next time in another video, so until then, have a good day!